Hello everyone and welcome to Free Range Diva. Thank you so much for stopping by today for another What I Eat in a Day video. Little background, I have been intermittent fasting for the last couple of years. I'm on the 16-8 plan, so that's eight hours eating and 16 hours of fasting. I open my eating window at 10 in the morning and it closes around six in the afternoon or evening. Uh, so, and I tend to eat whole foods at least 80 to 85% of the time. And so uh, hopefully what you'll see today is how I incorporate whole foods into my daily diet and hopefully give you some meal ideas about how you can incorporate more whole foods into your diet as well. One other thing before we jump in uh, is that recently I have been having some stomach issues in the form of chronic acid reflux and it's taken, um, the reason I haven't really talked about it is because I've been waiting for the last three months to see a gastroenterologist so I can get an accurate diagnosis which I still don't have. Uh, but in the interim, I have been making lifestyle changes. Basically what I need to do is keep my stress levels low because that, will, that can drive uh, the reflux. And that means taking more time to eat and eating in quiet environments. And uh, I have, although I have eliminated a few foods, not a lot on the this will cause acid list. For example, tomatoes, Garlic is a really bad trigger for me, so that had to go. And uh, coffee. Even though I did not drink caffeinated coffee, uh, I just eliminated decaf coffee just to be on the safe side. But for the most part, I still eat the same way that I always did. So let's jump into my what I eat in a day video, and I'll show you what I ate yesterday. Here we go. this morning is a blackberry smoothie. I had some extra fresh blackberries that I wanted to use up before they went bad. So I added those to a little bit of acai, some spinach. Uh, always got to get a couple of tablespoons of flax seeds in there and yogurt and protein powder, my vanilla protein powder. And because I was low on actually I've run out of my multivitamin, I decided to put a little extra of the superfood powder from Live It Up, the super greens. So that's why this is probably a little not as purple as it could be, but uh, it's still really, really good. So I'm going to go have this. <laughs> and if right now, at least here, the blackberries in the stores are really sweet. So if you like blackberries, now's a really a good time to grab some, and then you can always throw them in the freezer and have them later. I also added a scoop of the perfect hydrolyzed collagen and the perfect acerola vitamin C powder, so to make sure that I got all of my nutrition for the day. Okay, so let's take a look at my health vitals for the day. Well, starting, I have figured out how to track my morning workout. So I can show you at least my morning walk. I walk outside every morning, and there is a way to track that here. This morning, I walked 1.19 miles, so 1.2 miles of outdoor walking. It took me 28 minutes. My heart rate was average, but what's really interesting is that I spent most of that time in fat burning mode, 81% of that time, 14% in aerobic, nothing anaerobic, and 5% in warm up. But the fat burning, <laughs> that is the whole point, that and stress. So it also tracks your route when you're walking outside, which is kind of fun. Looking at my activity, I got 
I've so far I've got 5,112 steps and yesterday I actually got in 10,000 steps and I'm kind of on track to do that again today so that's great and my stress level is normal yep it's been normal all day so that's also excellent and how did I sleep last night I slept great uh, looks like I got 8 hours and 35 minutes. I was really tired. I fell asleep at like 8 o'clock. <laughs> By mistake, I was trying to watch something on TV and I just just went straight to sleep. Um, and it says that I spent a good portion of the night, a significantly higher portion in, of the night in deep sleep and REM sleep than I have before, which is really, really good. That's what we're aiming for. I spent 18, 1 hour and 42 minutes in REM sleep and 2 hours and 13 minutes in deep sleep. So far, this has been what I would say the best uh, purchase that I've made in terms of health-wise because the information is, uh, is, is laid out in a way that I can make decisions and choices like if my stress level goes up and I see that on here, I can take steps to you know deep breathe or meditate or do something yoga to help that calm down take a walk and if you remember from the last video yes I got a case I got my case so I'm happy I'm very happy with this ring con uh, ring and the purchase and I think I'm gonna get a lot of really good useful information out of it I'm gonna make some avo toast with an egg and the bread I'm using is from Ezekiel. It's Ezekiel's sprouted, flourless, sprouted grain bread. And let's Yesterday I got this package from Sip Herbals. This is an herbal coffee alternative. You brew it up like coffee, but it looks like tea. And it came in all these interesting flavors. French vanilla, fojo, which is the dirty chai, and cinnamon roll. And these are low acid, plant-based obviously, and caffeine free. So I cannot wait to try them. Ever since I got them, I've been dying to, to try this one, particularly the cinnamon roll. So I'm going to make some now. The set came with this strainer. doesn't have a cover, but I do because I have another strainer like this. And then you put in, and then you put in two teaspoons for eight ounces. And I'm going to be adding about 10 ounces of water. This is going to steep for three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. Take it out. smells incredible, just like a cinnamon roll. I'm going to add a little cream to it. And then give it a taste. It's good, but it needs a sweetener. Hold the bud. There's a faint, 
it tastes like coffee. There's a faint coffee sort of undertone to it. This, gonna, this is a, just a tiny little teaspoon. So I put about half of that in there. I think that's all it's going to need to take that away. Let's try again. My mother's talking on the phone next door. Uh, yep, that's all it needed. <laughs> it's really good. It does taste like coffee, only better. And I'm, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm just gonna sit back, watch some videos, and sip on this. I'll keep it warm. It's time for dinner, and fortunately, I cooked a lot last night, so today I'm only going to have leftovers, so I'm warming up. I made some chicken and vegetable soup. Uh, I got the kale that I put in the vegetable soup from my garden outside. Uh, everything is thriving right now out there, so I'm going to be able to harvest some romaine lettuce in about a week or so. And then the other thing that I did is I baked bread. So this is uh, artisan einkorn, an artisan einkorn loaf. Here it is right here. And I'm just going to cut this and have it with my soup. My bread knife is not the sharpest. But I do want you to get a look at the texture. And the crust is very soft. It's a very soft crust and the loaf is actually very soft as well. So I'm just gonna put this in the, this was a little piece that I think was left over from last night. I'm gonna put this in the toaster and make toast out of it. And this, is uh, these are baked ap apples, so this is going to be my dessert. Adding a little parmesan. The soup is chicken, carrots, kale, zucchini, and I think that's it. And broth, bone broth, of course. And with all those vegetables, it's very filling. And they're all ready. And I'll add some olive oil to the bread, and this will be good. This is all I need. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. I hope that gave you some meal ideas. If it did and you enjoyed it, then please give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, then please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing here at Free Range Diva. So if you have any questions about how I prepared anything or my thoughts on weight loss, because when I first started intermittent fasting, I lost about 20, 25 pounds over that first year. Since then, I've been struggling to maintain, and I do say struggling because I still go up and I go down a little bit, but, uh, and I'm in one of my up phases right now, um, but overall, I have, uh, I know how to lose it when I, when it gets out of control. I will just adjust my diet uh, a little bit, and then that's how I manage to keep my weight stable. Uh, because I have had reflux, I've been trying to eat more in the evenings because I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and have that burning sensation. And that's why I think I've gained, I've started to gain more weight over the course of the last, well, what, five months, I guess, because it started in June that I've been dealing with this. So I have, managed, I have put on a few pounds, but now I'm going to stop stuffing myself at night because it doesn't really matter one way or the other, <laughs> honestly, when it comes to the reflux. So, anywho, uh, yeah, if you do have any questions about anything, just let me know in the comments below and I'll answer them. Otherwise, you can drop me a line and tell, say hi and let me know how your day is going. Uh, I'm just starting my day 
today and even though there's a bit of a nip in the air uh, it's not that cold I think it's gonna get up into the low 60s today so that's pretty good and uh, yeah all right I'll shut up now and I'll get off and I'll let you get back to your day y'all have a really really wonderful day a wonderful week and until I see you in my next video I want you to take really good care of yourselves and I will talk to you again very very soon bye